Okay. Wherever you are, connect, invite somebody. Connect because we are having a pretest and follow up of Sunday service. So do the earth. And a pre it's all about a pretest of the Easter encounter. And so I want to thank God for your life wherever you are. If you you are watching this this before um the the we okay we we are live so we are live so everybody's pushing it yeah if you are watching this before easter it means connect god bless you takisha i want to know who is coming here takisha god bless you you are lifted you are lifted you are lifted it's a season of joy and i'm telling you everybody miracles are breaking out Glory be to God, Minister Claudia. You are lifted. You are lifted. You are lifted. You are lifted. Sunday was very amazing. We are tracking a journey that is supernatural. Sasha, God bless you. You are lifted. Um, Minister Ruth, you are blessed. You are lifted. You are lifted. You are lifted. Let us spread the news and bring everybody on board. Because I'm trusting God. I'm believing God. We the tables must turn upside down for the glory of God. And so get everybody to connect. Get everyone to connect, whoever, wherever they are. You see, the Lord spoke to me and said to me, nobody can guarantee the future. But there are people that can. Yeah, I'm telling you. Because you see, Jeremiah 29, 11, he said, I have good plans for you, right? Good plans. They are not plans of evil. They are plans that will give you a future and plans of hope. Faith is for today. Hope is for the future. You have to understand that. Faith is for today. Hope is for the future. And anytime God says plans that should give hope, it means you are in the future. But you see, we can't guarantee. We cannot guarantee the future. But we have faith today to drive us into hope for the future and there are things you have to know helen god bless you now i want you to ask everyone to connect when you are here declare i am blessed declare i am blessed because this easter encounter is i am i will never miss encounter you have to write it i will never this is my i will i will never miss this encounter i'm telling you and start thinking 10 minimum people you can invite 10 People you will call and ask to be part. Because I'm telling you, your generation should be blessed. Mash your God bless you. Now, when you come, make sure you remember your brothers and sisters. Like, ask everyone to join, to connect. Everybody must connect. Everyone must connect. We are dominating nature. We are ruling and subduing nature. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We are ruling, dominating, and ruling nature. La cozy kapako. Sopa kalagidi gadaga. I love the word of God when he say now, but the natural first, then the spiritual. That is powerful. That is powerful. And I think every believer must remember this. He said, the natural first, then the spiritual. God bless you richly. Minister Rebecca, you are lifted. You are lifted. Power liftings. Amanda, you are lifted. Power, glory. La condition, kibaha. Everything that the enemy is taking advantage over, we crash in the name of Jesus. Donor, God bless you. You are lifted and you are favored. Oh my God, my God, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That is how you should be saying it. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And any tongue that shall rise up against me in judgment, I will condemn. That is the heritage of God's children. 
The Lord bless you. Uh, uh, God bless you. More power to you. Um, Sister Lawline, and the Lawline, the Lord increase you. Morris, now invite somebody. Invite somebody. Invite somebody. Tell all our partner people to come. I told you. I told you. <laughs> Don't let nature resist you or restrain you. I mentioned in our Sunday teaching about the chrono time and the chaos time. The chronos time is time from the chronological order. You see, it has to move according to order one, two, three, four. But the kairos time is the opportune time. So sometimes you don't wait till it is your turn, but you step into your opportunity. Glory be to God. I want somebody to declare, I subdue the forces of nature. Now, Sat Friday will step into a dimension that will bless you. I will show you secrets. I will show you things. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Lagosha. Ikalaba. This, this much power God has given to us. Hey. Shanda Bragada. Kisoso Kaparandosha. Sometimes all you need and all we need to make a difference is with us. But we don't see it. We don't see it. We don't see it. Come on, declare. I subdue the forces of nature. Declare. I subdue. I subdue. Come on, declare. I subdue the forces of nature. Declare it. I subdue the forces of nature. Declare. I subdue the forces of nature. I subdue the forces of nature. I love what New International Version says. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 46, he said the spiritual, the spiritual did not come first, but the natural. The spiritual did not come first, but the natural. After that, the spiritual. That Paul, who taught us about a lot of spiritual things, had a break. <laughs> he had a break, right? He had a break. After teaching the gifts of the spirit and the fruit of the spirit, then he had a break. He said, remember that now the spiritual did not come first by the natural. Then after the natural, the spiritual, we subdue the forces of the natural realm. We subdue, I subdue the forces of the natural realm. I subdue the forces of the natural realm. In the mighty name of Jesus, I subdue the forces of the natural realm. By the finger of God, I subdue the forces of the natural realm. Come on, begin to talk to Jesus. Makonda, Rekoshaka, I subdue the forces of the natural realm. In the mighty name of Jesus, I subdue the forces. Of the natural realm, Rakoshika Pantoleka, I subdue the forces of the natural realm by the finger of God. By the finger of God, I subdue, I subdue, I subdue all the forces of the natural realm. I subdue the natural realm. I subdue, I subdue. Rako pare toshika, seeking to take advantage over my natural existence. In the name of Jesus, I subdue, I subdue, I subdue every voice in the natural seeking to limit me, seeking to interfere with my destiny. I subdue in the name of Jesus. I nullify every order of nature program to deprogram me. Pray these prayers and neutralize every order of nature assigned to disintegrate my existence in the name of Jesus. Order of nature in the name of Jesus program to override my divine intelligence. I nullify, I nullify, I counsel, I resist any order of nature resisting my progression in the name of Jesus. I override and I overrule the order of nature working against my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to share it, share it, share it. Let everyone come on by the finger of God. 
I cancel the order of nature trying to steal from me, the order of nature trying to rob me, the order of nature trying to disadvantage me. I cancel in the name of Jesus any order of nature operating behind financial doors operating behind the doors of health, operating behind the doors of business, every other door trying to disadvantage me. I counsel, I counsel, I counsel in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, begin to pray. I counsel, I counsel by the finger of God. I counsel I counsel in the name of Jesus, the forces of nature will have no advantage, will have no control over my life, over my destiny. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I neutralize, I neutralize, I counsel, I counsel, I silence by the finger of God, by the finger of God. Raconte, shika, banda, listo. Hey, shalabaha. I will not be disadvantaged by nature. I will not be limited by nature. I will not be opposed by nature. I take my place in the natural. Come on. I take my place in the natural. I counsel polluted air, polluted oxygen. In the name of Jesus, I reject. I reject. I reject any trick in the natural realm programmed to interfere with my destiny, programmed to nullify, programmed to resist me, programmed to oppress. We counsel in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray. Paul said the natural first, then the spiritual. The natural came first. The natural came first. The spiritual did not come first, but the natural. And after that, the spiritual. So decree in the name of Jesus, any projection, any program assigned to interfere with natural order for my advantage. I counsel in the name of Jesus, any power program to overpower natural order for my increase. I counsel, I decree by the spirit of God, my life is rising above the laws of nature. My destiny is rising above the laws of nature. I rule over nature. I rule, I dominate in the name of Jesus. Pray, my life will not stagnate by negative order of nature. I break out of resistance. I break out of opposition. I break out. Make sure you ask everyone to connect. Ask everyone to connect. Ask everyone to connect. The blessings of your life is connected to the glory of God. And so decree, Rasho, Shaika, Panda, Reko, Shikaleta, Paranimini, Kaladua, Shosha, Lenkelika, Lenkelika, Rako, Shikalababaha, Ekalanta, Ekalanta, Raga, Toticha, E Shalabadoa. Please hear this. When the network begin to be funny just make sure you come back don't just sign off make sure you sign in again come back again because this is going to be a glorious time now hear this before i proceed if you don't have my daily solutions i want you to make sure that you have yours because this is a life-changing destiny repackaging project that is adding value to people's lives. And it's amazing what Jesus gave to us today. Love, not the world. And it's about sonship, discipleship. And he's talking about how demons for the sake, for the love of the world, demons forsake the things of God. Because it was emphatic. Bible says he loved the world. He loved the world. So demons forsook the people of God. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus, the love of this world will not have you. In the name of Jesus, you will love God. You will walk with God by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to ask someone to connect. Ask them to connect. And if 
your line cut off just reconnect again reconnect again mantosha rekota ma shikala badaba kondi lebesha ragondi kalasha eli paranda regedegedeha shikanda labaha shika randoba shika randala popraza ikalabada ekapakonta ragiza e paradosha interantos Look at this, look at this, look at this. This is very important to understand. God has been speaking to us. It's very important about this whole order of creation, right? And I'm telling you that this season, the prophetic revelation that Jesus is bringing our way is so that our lives will be better and bigger. If your friend is not online, ask them to come online. If you are online, take note of the things we're talking about because you are going to see a quantum leap, a mighty outbreak of the move of God in your life. You see the glory of God manifest upon your life. I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I want someone to declare, I am anointed to subdue the earth. Please declare it. I am anointed. It's your birthright. I am anointed to subdue the earth. When you come, like it, 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 and spread the news. Like it 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 and spread the news. And declare this. I am anointed to subdue the earth. Makatusha. I am anointed to subdue the earth. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, I am anointed to subdue the earth. I am anointed to subdue the earth. I am anointed. Do you understand that? I will show you something that will change your life forever. Please. I will show you a secret. That is why this is... Especially the encounter, right? Do you know why it's in house? I want to show you a higher level of prayer secret that the ancient fathers use. Today, many Christians don't know that. I'm telling you. But just say these things. I am anointed to subdue the earth. If you're a child of God and you forget this one top secret that you can subdue the earth, you miss out on a lot. You miss out. You, you, you become a burden on the earth. You become a burden. You become a burden on the earth. But you are not a You are a burden breaker. Oh, come on. Maybe write that. Write that. I am not a burden. I am a burden breaker. I am not a burden in this world. I am a burden breaker. I am not a burden in this world. I am a burden breaker. And everyone, every child of God, carry that grace. When I encountered Jesus, oh my God, Kela Kosha, Elabaha. Now, the, the Lord began to show me how you can use the most closest things to you to unlock your destiny. But often, people want to use things that is not related to them. They can't relate with it. And they call it the realm of the spirit. But you can't even understand the realm of the spirit until you understand the realm of the natural. Because the Bible declares that it is the natural first. First Corinthians, the natural first, 1546. Then the spiritual. The natural first, then the spiritual. I decree that you are a burden breaker. You are not a burden, but a burden breaker. You will break burdens. Echo takata. You will break burdens. You will shut down shackles. You will neutralize them. In the name of Jesus, you are about to give class and meaning to Christianity. I want you to write it there. Listen, ask everyone to connect. Ask every brother and sister. I mean, declare it. I am anointed to give class and meaning to Christianity. Oh my God. This thing that we have limited it to praying to get things, praying to have things, is too limited. There is a higher dimension, a higher realm, a higher realm. I am anointed, I am anointed to give meaning and class to Christianity. That I am a Christian, I will give meaning and class because I understand what it means to dominate the natural. 
Raconta Ika Pakozi Gidiga Pakodi Gidiga Dalastos. I want you to ask everyone to connect. Ask everyone to connect in the mighty name of Jesus. I rule over the earth. I dominate. I will subdue. I will subdue. He told them in Genesis chapter 2, 28. He says, subdue the earth. Subdue, subdue, subdue. It is you is subdue. Subdue the earth. Subdue the earth. But you see, we saw something. Please take your Bibles and then let's look at this. And then we may we just this and we pray. And I can't wait. Please see if you have not invited anybody, start. Right? If you have the, the link, I want you to invite somebody, use the link, invite somebody, connect with somebody, ask everyone to connect because this is what we are all doing together. I think when I finish, I don't know if they've sent the links to you. If you don't have the link, please, please, please make sure that you will get it and send to people to connect and register and be part of this Easter encounter. Romans 8, the verse number 22, we know that the whole creation has been groaning as the pains, the whole creation has been growing as in pains of children right up to the present time, as in pains of childbirth. We know the whole creation has been groaning as in pains of childbirth, as in pains of childbirth. So you have to understand, you see the whole creation has been groaning as in pains of childbirth. Now it's almost to envisage, right? Uh, like creation is, is, is like a conception that has been waiting in pain and, and waiting and waiting and in pain. He said to the present time. It means it's been happening, it's been so for a long time to the present time. Groaning has been going on, excruciating, excruciating, long pain, excruciating, long suffering, excruciating, long time, long term pain. He said the whole creation is been going through it to the present time, like a woman at labor in pain, waiting to deliver, and yet like is the labor continuous and waiting eagerly to deliver. That is the pressure that creation is under. Please share this. The pressure creation is under certain kind of pressure, and that pressure is 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 bringing out groanings. It's like tears, excruciating pains, tears, crying, and wailing, and that is what is happening. But in in, in Romans chapter eight, the verse number eighteen, I consider that our present suffering are not worth it. Now Romans eight, rather the verse number twenty twenty, Romans eight twenty. For the creation was subjected to frustration. This is why the entire creation is groaning. Because creation was subjected to frustration. Creation was subjected to frustration. And the reason was because of Genesis chapter 3. When Adam and Eve fell. Please invite everyone to come. When Adam and Eve fell into sin and lost the glory of God they step into the creation of frustration they came out of the creation of good things they came out of the creation of blessing the creation of increase the creation of abundance right and they step into the creation of frustration frustration for the creation was subjected 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 the, for the creation was subjected to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of God. One, by the will of, 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 of the one who subjected it in hope, so that there is hope. There is hope that this subjection, there will come a turn around. This subjection, there will come a recovery, a restoration, hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and glory of the children of God. So there is a divine projection for the recovery of creation into freedom and glory 
into freedom and glory. Everything you've gone through, everything you have experienced, there is a place of freedom and glory. Freedom and glory. And all this will happen if you wake up to your heritage that you are anointed to subdue nature. My God. Come on, say it again. I am anointed to subdue nature. Oh my God. Like the show and bring somebody on. If your sister or brother is not here, ask them, why are you not here? I am anointed to subdue nature. I am anointed by God to subdue nature. Declare it, like it, invite everyone. I am anointed by God to subdue nature. Oh my God. This is amazing. Nature, nature, as it were, is a personality. Nature is a personality. And when you walk around this world thinking it's just the moon, it's just the sun, right? It's just the ocean, it's just the river, it's just rain, it's just thunder, right? It's just evening, it's just afternoon, it's just morning. You are doing yourself this service, great disservice. But you must understand that all the seasons and timings and all the objects and everything around that comes together to form nature is for a reason and it's for a purpose. And so we decree that every contribution, we decree that every addition, every creation of God adds up to your life. No power will take it away. No power will take it away. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning as in pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Glory be to God. The verse number 21, that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and the glory of the children of God. So the truth of the matter is this. Creation is waiting to be liberated. This is where I want to come to. Creation, somebody write it. Creation is waiting to be liberated. So when you hear the whole creation groans in eager expectation, come on, right? Creation is waiting to be liberated. Creation is waiting to be liberated. For the creation was subject to frustration, not by its own creation, subject to frustration. And creation is waiting to be liberated. Creation is waiting to be liberated. Now look at this very carefully. Even human beings are part of God's creation. But among all of God's creation, he made us, you and I, he made us higher class and he brought us into a higher place in all his creation. He gave us elevated eyes, elevated mind, elevated ears over to dominate, to rule. He granted us the signet of authority to rule over all his creation. And so if creation is waiting in hope for liberation, the question is, who would do the liberation? And it's very important. Who will liberate creation? Who will free creation up? Who will set creation free? Who will break the satanic padlock over creation? Who will unlock the prison sentence of creation? Who will give creation a go ahead? Who will give creation a rise up? Who, who will give creation breakthrough order? This is where we are at. You are not sick. You are not broke, right? You, you, you don't just need money and need things. We're dealing with creation, the order of creation, the system of creation. That is what we are dealing with. And I decree in the name of Jesus that somebody, the glory of God is shown upon you. So I am not a burden, I'm a burden breaker. Creation is subjected to frustration. Creation is subjected to frustration. And we know that the whole creation has been groaning. Because creation is subjected to frustration, there is groaning. It's like excruciating pain with tears. With, with shame, disgrace. Creation is groaning. Creation is groaning. Creation is groaning. Masha Kiva Kalisha. Groaning 
for transition, for change, for deliverance. But we know who carries the answer, right? Now, Romans chapter 8, look at this. Verse number 19. Who has the answer to liberate creation? Who carries what it takes to liberate creation? Don't just walk around praying, trusting God, believing God, looking down upon yourself, not feeling and looking like it. You have to understand that God has authorized your destiny. God has authorized your destiny. And so Romans 8, verse number 19, if creation that God created in Genesis chapter chapter 1, and God, in chapter 2, he said, everything was good. Everything was good. Everything God created, God said, it was good. But when man fell, a disruption Okay, Please hear this thing. A disruption. I want, the reason we are doing this right, is I don't want you to be very spiritual, very anointed, God-loving, but you will look like you never had contact with God. The reason is because Many Christians lack the spiritual revelation on how to be effective in the natural to produce spiritual results. They lack the spiritual revelation on how to be effective in the natural to produce spiritual results. Because the Bible declares now the spiritual first, then the natural. So look at this. In Romans chapter 8, the verse number 19, for the creation was for the for for, for the for for the creation waits in eager expectation. Why? Because creation is subdued, creation is subjected, creation is in bondage, creation is, is in debt, creation is behind time, and so creation has been subdued. Creation has been subdued. You think about it. Human beings, the water bodies, the, the river bodies, you know, the, the, the sea, the, the tree, the, the, the I mean, everything. There is, there, is, there is subjection going on in a large scale because of the fall of Adam and Eve. Romans 8, the verse number 19, for the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. So the whole creation has its eyes set on a particular group of people. The whole creation has its hope set on a unique, outstanding group of people. They are the liberators. They are not driven by burden. They are the yoke breakers. They are the burden lifters. That is who they are. They remove burdens. They take burdens away. They, they, they remove shackles. They remove shackles. They remove shackles. I decree by the Spirit of God that you will be so anointed that God will begin to use you to remove burdens, shackles, yokes. God will begin to use you to, to stop the groanings, to stop the frustrations, to stop the trauma that has hijacked creation. Trauma has hijacked water bodies. Trauma, trauma, the spirit of trauma has hijacked people's organs. Trauma, trauma has hijacked finances, resources, trauma. And, and the Bible says we are the liberators. We Creation is waiting. The whole creation. Romans 8, the verse number 19. The whole creation. The whole creation. For, for, for the creation waits, waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. Whoa, my God. This is a serious game. This is a serious game. Listen. God's answer for all the challenges and all the chaos in the world is the manifestation of the children of God. Who are these children of God? 
they are the group of people who are part of God's image in our original state, which is re, which is pre-incarnated in Christ. Re, re, Genesis 1, 28, subdue the earth, right? In our original state, which is pre-incarnated in Christ, we can subdue the earth. We can silence creation. We can command the trauma to cease. We are here to command the noise to stop. We are here to command the burdens to break. We are here to remove the yokes and the shackles labeled over creation. Because creation is like a personality in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. So what has happened is this. Adam's fall in the garden of Eden veiled the believers from God's presence. It veiled the believers from God's power. And so there is a season, and this is the season, that, that, that the children of God will be unveiled. And once they are unveiled, it means they have been revealed. Kosha, the unveiling, the unveiling of the children of God is how we become revealed. You see, creation doesn't answer to anything god's creation doesn't answer to anything cannot be subject to anything except to the children of god except to them whom he gave power to become the children of god except to them whom he gave power he gave power he gave power to become, he to become the children of God. I prophesy in the name of Jesus, you are stepping into car. Meosh, Igalabaha, Koli Libaha, Shigindi Libakatusha. I receive power to walk in dominion. Oh my God. I receive power to walk in authority and receive power to walk in the anointing. So, so John 1, 12, to them that believe it, who are these people that creation is in eager expectation, waiting for, to them that believe it, he gave them the power to become the children of God, the sons of God. Here it is. It is only the children of God, those who are walking in the free incarnated image of Christ is only them that can subdue nature, that can subdue creation. It is, listen, write it. It's only me. It's only people like me, Raka, that can silence the noise of creation. There is too much noise, the noise of sickness, stagnation, a lot of things. But you see, we pray, but we don't know how to maximize the mystery power of prayer. Eko shaka, eko shaka, marago shika. There are some things about to happen and there'll be sporadic miracles everywhere. There'll be breakthrough everywhere. People be testifying everywhere. People be just glorifying God everywhere. And I'm saying, Everywhere a breakout is about to occur. There, there is coming a, a breakout because nature, creation will begin to answer to you. Creation will honor you. Creation will salute you. We will not be driven, bamboozled, coerced, and oppressed by creation. Ah, my God, I don't know who is here. Listen, creation is a personality. And, and that is where we're going. Creation is a personality. Creation understands. If you keep quiet and you don't step up and you don't connect with your revelation that in all of God's creation, he set apart mankind and he gave us authority. 
authority. He gave us dominion. So creation is weeping. Creation is crying. Creation is weeping. Creation is crying that, oh my God, I am down. I am depressed. I, 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 am, I am broke. I have nothing. And the Lord said that everyone that believes in Jesus, these are the people that are carriers of the liberating unction, the liberating power, the liberating keys, the liberating grace. So we have to begin to look at our, our pre-access, our, the model, the model of God's, God's model, ordained model of our pre-access. It happens by creation, by creation. If you miss out on this revelation and the mystery of creation, you will miss out on the divine command, subdue, 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 subdue the earth, subdue the earth. Come on, subdue the earth. Subdue the, the gold, subdue things, subdue, subdue. I'm telling you that you are in charge, you are in authority. Why? Because you are here to reign. You are anointed to reign. You are anointed to reign. Makosha, regeda. Somebody asking, God bless me with the soulmate. You see, this is how it is. Every human being is created by God. And so I pray for you and I agree with you. And I superimpose your heart desires over creation. And I command creation to give up. I command creation to answer to you. I command creation to honor your heart desires. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So creation is groaning. Creation is in deep pain. It's in trauma. There is, there is calamity everywhere. Chaos everywhere. Accidents. Car crash. Sickness. Diseases. Clinical prophecies. People can't sleep. The, the, all kinds of things happen to people. Our cities, our territories. And God said, the entire creation is waiting with hope for a particular breed of people. The sons of God. The manifestation of the sons of God or the daughters of God. The children of God. And I am so excited. I'm so excited that you are about to step into another revelation. You can't be spiritual working with God and be reduced and not understand who you are. It's because first you didn't understand the natural. You have not really found a way to understand how the natural works. So you becoming spiritual is more I, by the finger of God that you will subdue creation. You will subdue nature. You will subdue nature. Oh my God. You will subdue nature. In the name of Jesus, you will subdue nature. Receive grace to subdue nature. Power to subdue nature. Fresh oil to subdue nature. Echo paka. Any order, any pattern, sequence of demonic attacks, activities, any pattern of things that has happened, you can tell, apart from the fact that you are praying to bind spirits and demons, you must understand that many of the restrictions and the demonic activities happen to your natural realm. And God said he's giving you an upper hand, an advantage over the natural. You are stepping up. And for you to step up, this is a problem. Many Christians become supernatural. But they feel powerless because they don't understand the natural. Don't forget the supernatural. Like it and invite somebody. They feel powerless because they don't understand the natural. I prophesy that you will be part of those that heaven has manifested to subdue creation, to subdue nature, and cause your rightful blessings, rightful miracles to manifest. There are things you pray for, you believe God for, you even cry for, you trust God for, but there's a remnant dimension you enter, you must understand your authority. 
You must understand your dimension. You must understand your influence and begin to declare by the name of Jesus Christ. You won't cry for things. Glory be to God. You will subdue so that things will honor you. Because there is a lot of rebellion, a rebel spirit. Creation has rebelled against God. And the spirit of the rebel is still looming around in God's creation. But you must wake up in the Holy Ghost. Ayakosha, Ekopara, Stosha, Ikabarakutaha. You will subdue the earth. So we know that, that you, what, to them that believe it, give them the power the power is not for everyone is for them that believe it for them that believe it to them that believe it he gave the power he gave the power he gave the power so this power can be maximized over creation this power can be utilized over creation Oh, this power can be used over creation. I speak by the finger of God and by the presence of God that creation will answer to you. The rebellion will cease because of you. The anarchy will cease because of you. The Chaos will cease. This is serious spiritual revelation. Don't dream to be supernatural. When the natural, you don't have any close to any solution. A prophesy. You have to understand. Fish lives in the sea. Fish can do well in the forest. And you have to understand. You have been empowered. You don't just pray. You don't just speak. You must have a revelation of how systems and things work. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I see the magnificent hand of God, my God, setting you apart. I see the magnificent finger of God, La Koshika, bringing approval to your life. You are stepping into times of power, times of refreshing. Your authority will be intact. Your revelation will be intact. Your insight will be intact. La costiga baranta. You will silence voices, activities, program to interfere with your destiny. I don't know where you are. Some people are waiting to pray again. They are waiting to fast again. Waiting to do a whole lot of things. But at some point, we need to hold our peace and come back to check what are we missing. And you know one of the significant things we are missing? We are missing easy access. We are missing the passcode, the password to nature that can make our super nature effective. Many people, supernatural life is not effective because they are ineffective in the nature. They don't understand the divine combination, the divine connection, the divine intimacy that works there. That's why Paul said, make no mistake, it was the natural thirst before the spiritual. I decree by the Spirit of God that as creation groans and in, in, in travail, and in, 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 in tears, I pray that you are the one God will speak to. I pray that something significant, something supernatural, something unusual, something will manifest for the glory of God. And it shall be said, you captured, you connected with your divine passcode. Glory be to God. Do you know? Let me end here. The sea is not a mistake. The moon is not a mistake. The star is not a mistake. The, the sun. All these trees, everything you see around, these are all part of nature. There are some people, the sun works against them. The moon works against them. Some people, trees work against them. Different things work against people because they lack revelation. They lack understanding that creation is growing. 
And creation is waiting for liberators. Creation is waiting, 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 waiting for liberators, waiting for liberators. The entire creation groans, groans, groans. Not the entire creation, groans. That means everything created is groaning. Cattle is groaning. Everything is groaning. Uh, um, goat is groaning. Beds are groaning. Frogs are snakes. Everything is groaning, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Friends, hear this. Why am I teaching all these things? Because we need this to key into the revelation of the mystery of days. Right? We need this. Because some things are going to be happening. God is going to rearrange people's lives. Miracles will happen in people's lives. People will wake up and dimensions of divine wisdom will become so strong on God's people. I foresee in the realm of the spirit that your life will never become a laughing stock. I foresee in the realm of the spirit that you will break through. I foresee in the realm of the spirit you'll be the first to give a testimony. You'll be a, the first to glorify God. You'll be the first to be thankful to God. Hallelujah. 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 Receive the grace. Receive that grace. I provoke it into your life. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Take it in the name of Jesus. I will list, I will list, I will list, I will list the grace over your life. Wow. I want someone to write, write it here. I carry the password of creation. Yeah, write it. Write it. I have the password of creation. I have the password of creation i have it i pray in the name of jesus christ you will know what to do the lord will ordain his voice he will ordain his presence upon your life and i'll show you the victories of moses i'll show you the victories of elijah i will show you there are many many victories that you have to know how the natural play the role and you have to know that you you have the passcode of creation. Yeah, there is something about the supernatural that makes you a wonder. You are a passcode of creation. Jesus came into this world understanding that the, the, the sea can hear his voice. The sea must hear his voice. This is creation at work. This is creation in power. This is creation. Creation. Because somebody is playing the role. So when God put Adam down, and nobody knows how long, and God brought Eve out, and God said everything was good, and God gave them authority and gave them dominion. It wasn't for a joke. It's, it's, it was a serious thing. I speak over your life. So look at this. From Thursday, we come in for the, the whole strictly in-house Easter encounter. And I want you to make it. I want you to don't miss any of the days. Because we will spend time to pray, see the face of God. But above all, you have to understand the revelation of the teachings. You have to understand the mysteries of the teachings because there is a breakout in the realm of the spirit. There is a breakout in the spirit realm. There is a breakout. More prosperity is coming. More abundance is coming. More money. More open doors. More open heavens. More breakthrough. More lifting is coming. It's coming. Why? Because you are walking in your pre-incarnated grace subdue the earth subdue the earth give it no room to misbehave give the earth no room to operate to destroy subdue the earth child of god the the, the, the four days from 28 29 30 31st i will take time and i'll teach you some things and then we're going to practice i'll teach you and we're going to practice now hear this Everyone, wherever you are, this is the meeting you have to join. 
because you will never regret joining this meeting. That is why it's strictly, strictly, strictly personal. You will never regret, you will never regret connecting to our Easter encounter. Come and discover the passcode, the password. Come and understand some secrets. Come and understand and learn why at some point you don't underestimate certain forces of creation, right? But you wake up in the realm of the spirit and don't play the I don't care thing. But you know that weapons are being formed against you. I silence those weapons. We cancel those weapons by the finger of God. I decree rearrangement, rearrangement. The burdens are removed, the shackles are removed. I am going to discover how to be part of the army of the liberators. The army, you see, creation is crying, creation is groaning, and creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Creation is waiting for me. Write it. That the whole creation is waiting for me. Write it. The whole creation is waiting for me. Write it. Write it. Such a big responsibility. Write it. The whole of creation is waiting for me. The whole of creation is waiting for me in eager expectation. The whole creation is waiting. Eager. Eager. The whole creation is waiting. Is waiting. Eager. Eager. Rako Shaka. Elaba. In eager expectations. Eager. There is no room to the delivery must happen now. The delivery must happen now. Listen, declare in the name of Jesus Christ, I will not be subdued by time. I will not be subdued by money. I will not be subdued by the creation. Declare, I will not be subdued by lack. I will not be subdued by sickness. These are all creation. In the name of Jesus, I will not be subdued. I refuse the power that subdues. I counsel and I reject I shall not be subdued by the finger of God. I refuse to be subdued. But then declare, I subdue. I subdue sickness. Yes. I subdue limitations. I subdue disadvantages. I subdue bad news. This is your birthright. I subdue satanic activities. I, I subdue. You have to pray. I subdue fear. I subdue opposition. I I subdue. You must, if you don't subdue. That is why here is from Thursday. I want to set the record straight and show you one most outstanding strategy God has used for generations. I will show you. You'll be shocked. And then we will start praying. And we will start praying. We will we'll receive the prophetic access. And then we will have practicals. Right? Don't miss out, please. Like it. Invite people. Bring everyone. Let everybody connect. Many Christians who don't know this are asking many questions. But there are answers in Zion. Answers in Zion. So I declare you subdue the earth. You replenish it. Yes. You will subdue the earth. And you will replenish it. Now look at this. Everybody is reading my daily solutions. In fact, everybody is reading my daily solutions. If you want to have solutions on daily basis, right? Weekly basis. This is what you read. This is what you get. And this will shift your life forever. My daily solution. May it come into your life and make a difference if you don't have one. And so please join the group of people that are shifting things in the world. But if you're in London area, or you're in Birmingham, you're in Manchester, you Coventry, Sheffield, you can find a hotel in London. Join us. People are calling. Listen to me. is in person only. People are calling. Please, the spaces are full. Don't stay back. Don't miss out. You've never crossed this path. We bring you to this path. We teach you secrets and mysteries. And then we key into the prophetic days of the week. But we also show you all these things are connected to elements of creation. And how God has given only human beings. Please hear this. 
only human beings. The time-tested secret, the time-tested password on how to dominate creation. But that's not what is happening. We see cancer dominating people, stroke dominating people, all kinds of sicknesses and diseases and anxiety disorder and all kinds of demonic attacks. And many believers want to accept that is how life works. No. The way life works is nature. But the way life also works is you can subdue nature. But you must understand the divine privilege you have on how to do that. I see God clear you off because you've woke up from sleep. Adam was put to sleep for Eve to come out. Until he woke up from sleep, he did not hear God talk again. I command you to wake up from sleep. In the name of Jesus Christ, wake up from sleep by the finger of God. Wow. Listen, stay blessed. It's Bishop Nanjo here. And I'm excited. We came here to pray. But here it is, if you don't have this, get it. There is a place, a page in this book. I think every child of God, at some point, you must maximize it. It has to do with praying for good sleep. Praying for good sleep. Prayer for good sleep and good dreams. It is here. Page number five. Prayer for good sleep and good dreams. Pray that prayer so when you sleep, you sleep well and, and rest well and have the best out of your sleep. Now, look at this. The, the link is there for you to give. There are some of you I want you to sow seed. Bless God's work. Pour into God's work. And I want you to say, Father, I am pouring into your work. From my heart, I bless your work. So take your seed, your 10 pounds, your 100 pounds, your 1,000 pounds. Take your seed your one million pounds take your seed and release it right is key is very important because god is blessing you he's keeping you he's giving you life it's bishop nanjo here and i'm so excited that we can connect with this revelation of 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 the nature and the supernature natural and supernatural and where God has placed us and what is required of us for personal benefits and for the general populace. You carry that anointing. You carry that anointing. Listen, God bless you. God lift you up. The Lord nourish your life and nourish your soul. You will never, ever be the same again. Somebody declare, I subdue nature, and then we are gone. Declare it. Everybody declare it. I want to see your name there. I subdue nature. I subdue it. I subdue it. Declare it. I subdue nature. Kalabosha. Ela Kalabosha. We've had a great time. Come on, declare. I subdue. I subdue nature. I subdue. Tosa, God bless you. God bless you, Tosa. God bless you, Amanda. Makonta, Ragada. God bless you. I subdue nature. Lydia, super blessings. I subdue nature. Pastor Cynthia, I subdue nature. I subdue. The Lord reward you. I subdue nature. Minister Angela, the Lord increase you. I subdue nature. Kola Pakosha. Tekisha, you are a winner. Masia, you are more than a conqueror. I subdue nature. Minister Claudia, you are bigger than you thought. I subdue nature. Yes, Sasha, you are moving forward. I subdue nature. Ayakuta. Stanley, the Lord has established you. I subdue nature. Minister Ruth, you are more than an overcomer. I subdue nature. Minister Samuel, God has empowered your hands. Kola Baha. I subdue nature. Listen, please. Auntie Tina, you are more than a conqueror. Please, if you are watching it, let me say this to you. Never think you've got a hand on it. You must know this. You, when you know this, you will thank God for the rest of your life. I'm telling you, you, you will thank God. And so I'm excited and I'm so glad and, 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 and I pray and, and I decree you will never decrease. You will increase. You, you will see the glory of God. You will multiply and you will be established. It's Bishop Nanjo here. Who will not want to come from Thursday? It's going to be serious. 
pack your anointing oils. Get yourself loaded in the spirit because we will teach and we will do practicals. We will teach, we will do practicals. We will teach and then we will do practicals. And I want to bring your friends, bring your future spouse, bring your children, your grandchildren. Like, listen, listen, take time off work and gather everyone because we are in his presence. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. I declare miracles. I declare you subdue. I declare you, you have conquered. I declare you are an overcomer. Receive grace. Receive grace. In Jesus' precious name. God bless you, child of God. And hear this. Go right now and get your copy of my daily solutions. You stay blessed and you stay lifted. Shalom, everyone. Shalom, everyone. Shalom, everyone. Shalom, everyone. Read those scriptures in Romans chapter 8. I'm subduing the earth. I'm in charge. I'm subduing. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye for now. Shalom. Thank you, Lord Jesus.